Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Arcade, and yes, this is part number seven, level seven. Guys, um, in this video we are going to do some painting. Yes, we are going to finally get two coats of undercoat on, and um, maybe two coats of um, black on uh, this cabinet in this video. So this cabinet will start looking like the Gauntlet Arcade Machine, hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyway guys, uh, we're going to use this uh, um, undercoat for um, for this cabinet and also we're using this uh, sealer for the inside of the cabinet. Now I've done um, the inside um, already, I didn't want to film it, I didn't want to bore you, but I've done the inside and, and the back, the back panel doors. The only thing I haven't done is where the monitor sits. So we need to take the monitor out so I can seal inside and then the inside of the cabinet is done. So then we're going to be start painting the outside of the cabinet. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to doing this because I know this is going to transform this cabinet into the gauntlet machine. So yes guys, so this uh, Let's take the monitor right and let's get started. Okay, that should be a little bit lighter now. So we're going to paint inside. Let me just check the camera a minute, guys. We're going to paint the um, MDF sealer. Um, inside here and then it's job done then we get start painting the um, the main outside part of the cabinet probably start back flip the oh no actually we're starting at the bottom I have to flip the cabinet on its back and then paint the bottom because we need to seal that didn't we so um, we'll do that then we'll flip the cabinet back up right Swing them around so we got the back of the cabinet and we'll start painting that. So let's uh, let's get going on this. Let's get the sealer on, on the inside. So let's get the kind of shake. Now this stuff is very runny. If you haven't seen the um, last video, um, so it really sucks into the MDF. Uh, it's very runny as you can see so um, let's start doing the um, sealer I won't I won't film it all but um, you can just get the gist of um, how it goes on Now in the previous video I was gonna I did say um I was gonna use this stuff um all over the cabinet just to seal it but uh I decided not to because the paint we got, the acrylic uh trade paint is probably good enough um to seal the cabinet anyway. So as you can see it's sucking right in guys. I mean, if you was going to use this for for the outside um, on your cabinet, you'd probably want to put it on, leave it to go off for an hour, and then um, before you paint, I would um, sand it down, um, because it does bring the fibres up. So if you want to get a really smooth finish, I would definitely sand um, between coats. That's what I'm doing on um, on this. I'll be sanding it down every coat. Zoom in a minute. Right, I've finished the um, MDF sealer now inside, so it's all sealed now. It almost gives it that um, 
old look to be fair but um, this is what it looks like when it dries out so it's just a slightly different shade um, to the other side but anyway it doesn't matter you're not going to see it um, I've also done um, the two back panels this is the monitor vent there um, I, this one's already been done um, I did that a few days ago and you can tell it's a sort of a lighter shade um, so I'm going to have to allow that about an hour to dry and I can flip them over and start painting the um, the other side um, this one I can do um, yeah so that one's ready to be painted so I think we need to get the camera back on the tripod and let's flip this cabinet on its back so we can um, paint the, um, the underneath so let's get going in the uh, world that this will not fall apart <laughs> so anyway fingers right so we're just sliding back well that doesn't look right does it my gauntlet cabinet on the floor but anyways this um let me just sand this down and um, I'll set the camera up for a better view and um, and then we can get going on it. It's going to be hard with these team mold in. Hmm, I'll have to rewrite them. Anyway, let's get, let's get going on it. Alright guys, um, I've done the um, prep work on the bottom of the cab now. Um, Basically, what I've done was I got the uh, multi tool and I just trimmed where the T mold is going to go, and then I just rubbed down with a bit of sandpaper um, where it needed. So we're ready to go. So let's do it. We've got a can, so let's give it a good shake. I might be a good stir actually. Doing being cute, isn't it? Right, anyway, let's get them open and let's get going. I've got a foam roller and I've got a 19mm brush so I can just go around the feet and also do these. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going on it.
done. Let it dry for four hours. It is now ten to three, so that would be seven o'clock tonight for the second coat. So um, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we need to rub down a light rub down, and then a uh, second coat. And hopefully tomorrow, Sunday, we can put a first coat of black on. Uh, the only unfortunate bit, it takes 16 to 24 hours to dry and it's not even a gloss, so um, it's a matte finish, so it's a little bit frustrating that I can't finish the painting over the weekend, but hey, these things take time, so I'll see you in four hours, or... Right then guys, um, it's actually been, um, it's now half past four, um, it does say on the tin, um, recoatable within one to two hours, now this is dry, so I'm quite happy to sand, lightly sand it down and then this this probably the second coat of undercoat, so um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Got this sandpaper here, it's uh, 240, it's a very fine sandpaper, so all we want to be doing is lightly sanding the uh, the panels, uh, we don't want to be taking the paint off, we just want to get a good key on it um, for a second coat, and also just it takes the, the, the fibres off as well, because when you put the paint on MDF, the fibres sort of, sort of go like that, they start coming up. So what we want to do is just lightly sand them so it goes back smooth so we can put our second coat on. So once we put our second coat on, we give it this uh, never sanding and then we'll be putting the black on. So that's the plan. So let's go ahead and just, I, I'm not going to show you the second coat. I'll just plot on with that myself, uh, just show you the outcome of it. Uh, once it's dry, it'd probably be tomorrow. Um, but I'll just show you roughly what we need to do when we when we sand sand this this side panel. So, so. oh, that's <laughs> that is super smooth. That's that's a very uh, rough texture, and that is super smooth. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Once you've done, just go over it with a dry, um, a damp cloth, and then we're ready to apply our second coat. First one, so I'm going to do that on, on the whole camera and then get going and get the second coat on. Alright guys, it's uh, day two of the paint job and um, I've applied two coats now of undercoat and um, yeah, it's looking good um, but I think I may need a third undercoat. <laughs> um, just probably me being a little bit of um, an overkill but uh, I suppose um, once you apply the the final top coat of black, you probably won't see um, the imperfections, but um, I can still see some of the the screw holes um, where I filled them in. And um, there's one here I will need to put some more filler in. And I, I'll, t I'll tell you what I did before I put the second coat in. You can just see it there, guys. You know, I know our vinyl our art's going on this, but um, will that affect it? I don't know, but I I want to try and get this as perfect as I possibly can. Um, so I'm going to 
fill fill any of any of these in and just go over. Um, I did notice on on the other side that um, they were all showing. And now, when you fill holes in, you think they're flush until you start painting. So um, yeah, I, I did did manage to uh, find a few on this side and. Um, I, I basically filled them in, sanded them down and put the second coat on and it's come out really well this side. Um, I will check to see if there's any um, other filling in around the cabinet but um, at the moment yeah it's looking good guys. I am I am pleased with the result. I, I probably if you put the, the top coat of black on now I think it'd be alright but I'm going to put a third coat on. It's only going to take one to two hours to dry and then um, then I'll apply the, the the top coat of black which takes 16 to 24 hours to dry so I would be able to put another coat on until I would say probably Monday evening if if I get home from work at a reasonable time I might try it but um, I very much doubt it but um, anyway um, yeah so uh, I'll go ahead and do that and um, I'll get back to you and I'll show you what I've done Right and guys, the third undercoat primer has gone on and I'm very very pleased with the result. Um, it's much better. I did need a, a third coat. Um, it'll make the top coat go on a dream, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, very very pleased with it. Almost looks like um, a laminate to be honest. Um, if I can just um, try and zoom in on it. Um, I quite like the sponge effect. I can't really get a good picture, guys. Ah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Is it that um, rough, rough texture? But it's it's lovely and smooth. It's fantastic, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get the black on. And it's uh, we're gonna be uh, doing it very shortly. Um, just need to flip the cabinet on its side um, even in it I've rubbed everything down after every coat and it's, it's super smooth e even the um, the edges the cut the grain is very smooth and um, I've, I've been watching a few um, professional painter and decorators on YouTube um, on how to paint MDF and um, they come with some great great tips and tell you exactly what sort of sandpaper to use and um, yeah, it's really, really a professional finish, and I'm happy with this so far. Um, <laughs> having said that, um, this paint here we're going to be using does take, like I said, a good 24 hours to go off, 16 to 24 hours. Um, so um, it'd be a nightmare if you want to paint this outside because all the insects are stick to this like shit, basically. So um, yeah. Um, so we don't really want to create too much dust. I'm going to set the camera back on its tripod, I'm going to flip the cabinet on its back again. We're going to paint the, the, the bottom of the cab. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm only going to do one coat of black on the bottom because no one's going to see it, are they, to be fair. Um, but I want to seal it. Um, make it watertight, not saying like it's going outside or anything, but you know. Um, I'd be happier if we we got a cut of paint on the on the bottom. So uh, let's set the tripod up and let's get going. Areas done now, so um, I'm going to move on to the back, which is a bit difficult to film. So I'll just go ahead and do it, and I'll, I'll show you the result in a moment. Well, I'll just show you around the back, guys. Um, nothing too exciting, but um, 
back panel's done, top's done, um, it's very shiny, hello, um, it won't dry like that, it's almost like a, a gloss but it will dry back to something like, like that, um, which is a lovely finish, um, so yeah, it's going to take 24 hours like I said, um, there's the back down, um, I will check if we need to put a second coat on, um, if I do, I probably won't do the back to be fair, because um, who's going to see the back, right? <laughs> so yeah, on to the, uh, the, the um, front now, for the coin doors, uh, let's do that one and then we can do the two sides last. Okay, that's the front panel painted, very happy with that. Onto the side now. Um, yeah, I, I don't need to really paint inside um, here because the coin doors are going to fit in there. Um, so shouldn't shouldn't need. Or do you reckon I should paint it? Mm, yeah, I'll paint it. <laughs> okay, this let's paint the first side then. Well guys, it's been a few weeks now since I painted the cabinet and um, I'm sorry I didn't uh, film all the um, this sort of the top coat, um, I, I didn't want to bore you but you, you get the gist of um, <laughs> what it's going to look like and, and, and all that business but guys, uh, just let me tell you what I did um, I put three coats of uh, undercoat on um, yeah, I thought it needed three undercoats. Um, I don't know why. Just it's really good undercoat, and I wanted to get it as perfect as I possibly could. So I, I put three coats on, and then I done two coats of black. Now I think the finish on it is absolutely amazing. I I, I love it. It's it's it went on like a gloss, but actually finished like a matte and um, I think it's just as good as vinyl and, and people's been saying Andy why don't you just put vinyl on it well the reason why I don't put vinyl on because I've never ever done it and also how do you put vinyl on little strips like that unless you absolutely cover the whole the, the two sides but um, yeah if it's, it's a lot of money if you make a mistake it's just easier just to paint it I know it takes time but that's, that's just, just me but guys what do you think I think it's actually come out pretty well. I'm really chuffed with it. And uh, you can see the back. Um, I put the vent on as well. And now I've only done one coat on the on the back. So I thought, well, you're not going to see it. So, um, yeah, just me being lazy. But the finish on it, guys, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Um, I know it's a little bit dark and all that business, but yeah, I got to put um, a fan in there. But um, yeah, I, I'm I'm really 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 loving it at the moment. I mean, it's it's come up really well, and, and the finish, it's it's almost like a little stipple effect. <laughs> it's kind of like vinyl. <laughs> Let me like zoom in a minute. There you go. Uh, I love it. I, I I'm actually pleased, and I I really do like the uh, Johnsons and um, the paint. I, I think it's. Uh, high performance paint, um, it's a trade paint, the undercoat, um, the black, well the black paint, well it's okay, I mean it's done a fantastic job, it's just it takes so bloody long to go off, 24 hours to go off for the second coat, it's a pain, and it's not even gloss, but guys um, I'm really pleased, I am really pleased, so I want to end this video now guys, um, because I've, I've dragged this video out a lot, 
long time now so um so yeah guys thanks for watching um give me a leave a comment below if 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 you like what i'm doing and um yeah subscribe and and, and all that business guys i really do appreciate it um yeah i really really do appreciate it it makes me feel happy when people leave comments and then uh, tips and, and stuff like that so yeah keep on coming in guys i really appreciate it so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next video of this gauntlet arcade cabinet build take care bye bye